Well, the rain we got today did not produce any major flooding issues, but some people say it's only a matter of time before it happens to them again. They say they've been fighting over flooding for years, and tonight there is a new call for the city to take action. Jocelyn Person is live in South Buffalo with the appeal they're making and how money from the federal government could come to the rescue. Well, Hannah, several homeowners in this Valley community tell me that they have spent thousands of dollars in flood repair damages. Now I'm going to step aside now so my photog could show you where the water is coming from. It's coming from this river here that's causing the flood damage in these homeowners basement when bad weather comes through. So they're hoping council members can invest in stopping the damages. The sound of water flowing is a warning sign for people like Jesse Ryder. Time there's a good windstorm, especially if it's combined with a good rainstorm, we get some serious flooding in here. Uh, and see everyone's got uh, PVC pipe leading out of their basements. We're all uh, trying to stay ahead of it. Uh, we've all had instances where we've had damaged furnaces, hot water tanks. Uh, and the problem has gotten a lot worse in the last few years. Ryder says he and his neighbors have dealt with the flooding for years. He says it has caused thousands of dollars in damage. The neighborhood, when you get reports of 60 mile an hour gusts, that we're all holding our breath and uh, hoping that we're not going to have further flooding and damage basements. The executive director of the Valley Community Association wants the city of Buffalo to take action. So we are asking the city to examine it and analyze it, figure it out. And so these people can get a reprieve. Right now they're replacing a lot of HVAC equipment year after year. So it's it's not good. Fillmore District Councilman Mitch Nowakowski says he's in the city's ear. He's asking his fellow council members to invest money from the American Rescue Plan funds to help homeowners. The Buffalo Sewer Authority is investigating where these faulty valves are, are happening. Um, they are now going to determine what the best um, approach is. Is that um, additional sewer work um, at specific locations? Is that making sure that the sewers are equipped with sensors so that the Sewer Authority can know where the break is among the lines? Um, and other remedies that the Sewer Authority is really trying to do to rem uh, you know, to remediate this problem. Nowakowski says he doesn't know how much money is needed until Public Works and the Sewer Authority comes up with what needs to be fixed. I'm going to be fighting to make sure that we have adequate resources to address this issue. I think it would be a fairly inexpensive fix and it would make a big difference in the lives of everybody down here. Now the councilman did tell me that the Public works continues to investigate into the valves and he also said that he is confident that his fellow council members will see the need in investing into the situation reporting live in south buffalo jocelyn person seven news